fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday, the 10th of November, 2022. If you hear an occasional purring sound, it is not me um, kind of uh, purring the fact that the Republicans didn't um, do too well, or, or as well as they had expected. Uh, no, that is an actual cat uh, sitting on my lap um, because he's been moaning um, uh, that I'm not paying him any attention so I've had to let him in but uh, one of two things could happen he could uh, go nuts and bite me <laughs> and run away <laughs> that doesn't happen often but if I seem to be annoying him because I'm clicking the keyboard and clicking the mouse he gets a bit annoyed ah hello and uh, uh, or otherwise he might sleep on my lap which is uh, possible or um, I don't know what's going to happen with this cat. Anyway, we shall see. Time will tell. Now, this is the Guardian Hard Level Sudoku. By the way, um, uh, I have watched um, some, ana I've seen some analysis and read some analysis of the uh, US elections, and um, most analysts agree that uh, Republicans are disappointed that they didn't do as well as they had expected to. And that part of the reason is because young people actually got out to vote, which is a great thing, uh, because the next time there will be fewer old people like me and more. When I say like me, I don't mean I'm a Republican, of course. I mean fewer old people who tend to get, turn towards the right when they get older and more younger people who are more tolerant and liberal, uh, liberal, not left wing, but liberal uh, in their um, tolerant outlook on life and I think the Republicans need to understand that uh, you know the world has changed these kind of culture wars and racist ideas that they put forward uh, most young people reject them thankfully uh, all humans should reject them of course but um, uh, it seems to be a modern trend because people realize they have friends of varying colors and uh, sexualities and orientations and etc etc so um, you know the world is changing for the better eventually, but we always have these hiccups along the way, don't we? Right, uh, let's get on with the Guardian Sudoku puzzle. I can see a couple of things with twos. Two looks like my lucky number today. So let's go along with the twos blocking across here like this and the two down here. Uh, you should know what that means, I guess. You should have played Sudoku at least once before in your life. If not, head on over to the easy level puzzles and work out the rules. But the rules are self-evident, I think, really. Uh, two has to fit into that square. And what was the other one I saw was up here. This is the one I, I saw initially to across here. So that's going to put a two there. That might give me uh, one more. Yes, indeed, because there is only one more to get. So we can get the last one without too much effort. There we are. Twos are now in situ. <clears throat> you see the cat is purring. I, I'm, I'm sure the microphone is not picking up the cat purring because he's very he's doing it very quietly and considerately. So uh, I'm sure you can't hear that, but it's quite nice. But it is a bit relaxing. I might fall asleep. <laughs> I've been awake since really early, since 5 a.m. working here on the computer. A couple, a few hours ago. Now it's nearly 8 a.m. already here, and I've got to start work soon. So. Uh, I mustn't hang around, really. Uh, I can see fours blocking across it, but I was saying that the, the cat purring tends to be relaxing and make me sleepy, so that's no good. We must stay awake while playing Sudoku, or more to the point, I must stay awake while playing Sudoku. All right, let's do a quick run through digit by digit just to get the easy ones out of the way. I've, did I mention this is a hard level Sudoku? I f think I might have forgotten that, but I'm sure you knew that because you saw the thumbnail before you clicked. And anyway, it is a Thursday, and if you've played, if you've been on this channel before, you will know that the Guardian always has hard-level games on a Thursday. Although quite how hard they are is a matter of debate. Oh, well, I was hoping to find a couple more easy ones than this. 
but this will do we've got seven blocking here and seven blocking here so these two squares cannot be seven so we can definitely place a seven up there uh, the seven across here excuse me seven blocking across here and the seven blocking up here is going to put seven in one of these two squares whichever one it appears in it will block across here let's extend that seven all the way to the end and the sevens up the column two and column three will place a seven there Uh, we have eight blocking across here and eight down here, so we can definitely get ourselves an easy eight. There, there's another easy one here. Eight's blocking down and across here, so that will be an eight into that square there. Uh, now we have eight blocking this square, this eight blocking these two squares, and this eight blocking this square, so an eight arrives in fully formed in that cell. <coughs> And just for good measure, let's see what the 9 is up to this morning. Okay, I suppose I better have one quick run through because there's some changes now. So 1 obviously can't go here, must appear here for this column. I better put in the last missing number, which is 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can hear cats outside. Not my cat sitting on my lap. Another cat outside. I can see sevens blocking across here now. So that's going to put a seven there. Uh, missing numbers in these two squares look to be three and six. I'm um, not sure which is which just yet. Oh, no, it can't be three and six. What am I talking about? Hmm. Three and four. Sorry, four blocking down here. Oh. Must wake up, must wake up, must wake up. The chant. Okay, I can see 3 and 9 in these two squares because 3 and 9 blocking up here like this. So if that's 3 and 9, this is not 3 or 9 and therefore must be a 6. And that's going to give us the last square here, which will be a 7. Uh, so now we have 7 across this row, this row, and up here. 7 fits into that square, 7 blocking up all the way to the top and up all the way to the top here seven is the final seven goes there Okay, we have our ones blocking across like this. So we have ones, we have ones in these squares. Um, anything else that's uh, really good? Ones are going to be up there. <coughs> hmm. uh, let's have a look at the threes. What are they up to? Threes, like so. there okay fours ah okay we've got four across here across here and down here so we can get ourselves a four there and then we've got four blocking up here and across here and down there so that's the final digit four <coughs> have eight blocking across here and eight up here so that's our eight
uh, we have 3 blocking both of those squares so in this column that's where the 3 goes down here we'll be left with uh, a 1 and a 5 to complete the column so 1 and 5 go there so this has to be 6 and 9 so we've got the 9 blocking across here that's for the 9 that's for the 6 6 finishes off this row here Uh, I think I said one was in one of these two squares, didn't I? Let me just check on that. Uh, oh, yes, okay, so we got the one blocking down here, so that's our one for this row, and the last number for this row is a five then. Five blocking across here, here's the five, the last number to place here is a nine. <clears throat> we have ourselves an 8 across here and an 8 up here can we find? no we can't we've still got two possibilities for 8 and here we still have two possibilities for 8 and uh, oh, that's it actually all of the 8's I've done apart from those so nothing much going on there uh, let's see what's missing from here 3 and 6 is it so we have the 6 blocking up here that will be the 6 that will be the 3 3 blocking down here 3 across here puts a 3 into that square uh, 3 blocking this square we need a 3 in this column so 3 must go there the last number for this column is a 9 uh, we're missing 1 and 5 here, so this by default has to be 1 and 5 in these squares here. Um, <clears throat> what's missing across here? 1 and something. 1 and... Um, 9. 1 and 9. Up here, 9's are in those squares. Okay. Okay, the missing digits across here across here are one, five, six, nine. We have one, five, and six in the same column, so that's got to be a nine. Now we have the nines blocking across here like so, so that gives us a nine there. Nine blocking down here. Here is the nine, here is the one, here is the one because that one blocks down there. And the last number to get here is a five, as previously mentioned. Now we have just one number at the top there, and that requires us to place an eight, as previously worked out. Now I said the eights were in these squares as well, so now we know an eight must go there. Uh, what's missing from here? Five and six, I guess it is. Uh, no info on five or six just yet. Uh, can I get these numbers down here? Of course I can, but what are they? Oh yeah, we've got one blocking across here, so there's the one. And the last number to get here is going to be a five. Uh, we also need a five to complete this column. So five blocking across here puts a five there. The last number to place here is a six. Um, what's missing now? We are two numbers short across the top here, which are one and... Three, I believe. So we see the three blocking up here. That's the three. There's the one. One blocks across here. So here's our one. The last number to get here, six. Six blocks across here. So here's our six. Uh, one number to get here, which is a three for the column. And to finish the block today, a five will do it. So it's a very straightforward and easy hard level guardian. And thank you to my cat for not Oh, now he's starting to chew his gums. He has a bit of a psychological problem where he, he bites his own mouth. He's just started to do that. So luckily, I've finished the game now, so that's it. See ya. Uh, I'm not sure how much Sudoku there can be today and tomorrow because I am super busy, but I'll try and get in some games when I can. Bye-bye.